Which you guys got a quick video here for you. This is a fix it one for VMware Workstation. The update server could not be resolved. Now this error occurs when you try to install the uh, VMware tools. This will allow you to go full screen and also allow you to share files from the main desktop computer to the virtual machine. You're not going to be able to do any of this until you install the VMware toolkit. So without the VMware tools, you won't be able to go full screen. You won't be able to transfer files to the virtual machine and you'll also see stuttering. So open up a browser and go VMware tools download and do a search for it. Now, the very first link you're going to see is to Broadcom's website. The problem is with Broadcom is you're going to need to have an account and sign into that account to be able to download the files. When you click here, it wants you to sign up for the use of a VMware Workstation. So if you don't want to do that, then all you need to do here is go back to the main search. Let me close this off and we'll go back to the main search page here. Just below that, you will see VMware.com. This will give you access to the packages page for VMware uh, tools. So you can see there is a bunch of different ones here. There's the ARM sort of setup, the x64 and x86. So this is for the ISO right here. But if you click on the x64, you will see an executable file, which you can then download and double click on this and this will allow you to install the VMware tools that you're going to need. So rather than go through the menu up the top, which you should be able to do, if you're getting this error coming up, then you can use this method to actually bypass it. You can see it's a little bit laggy. That's because we don't have the toolkit installed on the system. So I'm going to push complete here and do the complete setup and then click on install and this will then install all of the toolkit onto our system so it does take a bit of time to so be patient so if you are receiving error codes like this when you're trying to install the vmware toolkit then you can use this method to be able to get the toolkit onto the system to fix and remedy any of the issues that you might be having while installing uh, the toolkit you can now see it's changed the resolution size of the window here so i'm just going to make that bigger and now we can say finish and we'll need to restart the system for it to work so you can see the toolkit has now been installed we don't need to worry about that so when you restart the system you'll have full access uh, to your system be able to share files also make the screen bigger and do a bunch of other stuff with that toolkit let me show you right here we can just uh, copy this file over to our virtual machine from our main system now without the vmware toolkit you can't do any of this stuff so you will need to install that toolkit and you can see it's working perfectly fine and now everything is up and running and we can now reboot the system and we should have a fully functional virtual machine here with all our toolkit installed on here. Anyway, that's going to be about it. Just a quick short video for today. Fix it video. If this video has been helpful, then give the video a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the very next video. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. With your tier one, tier two, or tier three, I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.